Well, used car prices are finally decreasing, but buyers need to be aware of a drop before they buy. This one on mileage. Ken's 5 consumer reporter Nicole Kahn joins us with what to look for when it comes to odometer fraud and why you don't always see it just by looking at the mileage. Nicole? Buyers want both a good price and low mileage, and you're going to want to jump on a great deal before it disappears, but you need to be suspicious. Texas is number two in the nation when it comes to the number of vehicles on the road with rolled back odometers. San Antonio, we rank a little bit better. We're 19th in the U.S., but don't take chances because it will cost you down the road. Rolling back an odometer is easy to do and difficult for buyers to spot. There's nothing mechanically that can be seen, a trace left, where you can tell that an odometer has been rolled back. It'll cost you big time. You'll pay more for the car and more for repairs. This can cost you thousands of dollars, not only up front in the purchase price, but cost you thousands of dollars and a lot of headache and heartache during ownership. Watch how quickly someone can shave 100,000 miles off this 2009 Chevy SUV. I'm going to go ahead and press my button and that's going to enter the mileage and you'll see how quickly the odometer changes and that's going to be a permanent lasting reading. So one, two, three. And the odometer can easily be changed, but it doesn't change the engine, struts, or brakes. A high mileage car will cost you more in upkeep, so it is so important to know exactly what you are buying. Make sure you get a vehicle history report like the Carfax and an independent mechanic to look at that car before you buy it so that you understand the maintenance. And for those of you with cars on the road, we now go over to Alana with traffic. <laughs>